Hey yo, uh, Shalom, O praise the Yahweh, Hashem, Yashra, Hashem, Rakakadash, Dabon, to your apostles and elders, great milestone in the real world, man. And uh, Shalom to the brothers out there doing the work in sincerity and truth. Um, just saw this, I saw this yesterday, I was thinking, it's funny as hell, because really, like North Korea really ain't got, ain't, ain't got much to do with prophecy. Like, Korea ain't the focal spot of, you know, of, like, World War Three and all that. But it's, it is funny still because, like, people, um, just the general populace, they're just some simpletons, man. Because it's like, there was that time where North Korea was seeming like the devil. They said, we would blow up America and all this shit. People are like, oh, Lose like oh yeah North Korea. Anytime you mention North Korea, oh yeah we might get blown up by North Korea tomorrow. Everyone's getting shook. Then it's like okay, but then peace talks are meant to be happening. And like the way the guy in this chat, like these guys, I think I even saw as well. They're meant to have like destroyed one of their um, nuke testing facilities as well in front of like the World Press or something. So, yeah, these guys were apparent, like, you know, this guy was like the devil incarnate. But then just like two seconds later, he's just ready, ready to fold over and, and deal with some peace. So so it's just like, it's it's funny, man. People are just getting manipulated, really. Like, um, it's, 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 it's the, if, if you're an independent state and you ain't got nukes, you're through, like, you're just, um, you're basically just you're gonna be subject to U.S. sooner or rather than later, man. So you know that's why it's just like this guy's doing new. That's that's just common sense. Same with Iran. It's like man, I got Israel around the corner with nukes, saying, "Look, we're we're disgusting, filthy, vile country. You, 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 if you ain't got nukes, you ain't you ain't got a chance." But it's like, yeah, with with North Korea, it's like everyone was losing their minds. Like, oh, now it's like, okay, peace talks are gonna happen. Now it's gone back. And it was Trump that didn't even want to have the peace talks. That's funny as hell. So it's just like, really, that's that's just bare fluff, man. Like North Korea, these guys are pretending gonna blow up this, blow up that. Man, they're just um. Man, they're just basically trying to keep up with what 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 the, the states are saying, man. Especially with since Trump came in. Trump Trump's got a big fucking mouth. You know that stout bastard, stouter than these fellows. But anyway, let me read it, man. But some Bloomberg says North Korea is still open to summit even after Trump scraps talks. It says North Korea said it was surprised by Donald Trump's decision to cancel a June 12th summit with Kim Jong-un and it remained willing to meet with the US at any time. First Vice Foreign Minister Kim ki Gwan said Friday that his country still wanted to pursue peace and said it would give Washington more time to reconsider talks. He added that North Korea inwardly highly appreciated Trump for agreeing to the summit and hoped the Trump formula would help lead to better sucking off Trump's rod, man, already. I'm like, that's, a, that's funny as hell, man. But it's really it's down to the spirit, man, because it's like the Lord's basically just not even having that spirit, like, um, be out there. And it says, like, the first meeting would not solve all, but solving even a, one at a time in a fa uh, phased way would make relations get better. Rather than making them get worse, Kim said in a statement carried Friday by the state-run Korean Central News Agency. So this is meant to be some irrational guy. She's like, we're just going to blow up America every other minute. But then it's like, okay, you know, we, like, we could have just had meetings and, you know, got together. We would have eventually... That's funny as hell. It says he would like to make known to the U.S. side once again that we have the intent to sit with the U.S. side um, to solve problems regardless of ways um, at any time. So really, these guys are, um, these guys are, uh, what do you call it, man? Uh, uh, ready to bow to the US, man. And make them deals, man. But, you know, the Lord's basically got it, whereas, um, that spirit can't even, um, 
that spirit can't even can't even get out there, man. It's it's man. Uh, basically, um, uh, the Lord's got them in that spirit of war. It's uh, let me read, read this. Joel three and nine it says, "Proclaim ye this among the Gentiles: Prepare war, wake up the mighty men. Let all the men of war draw near. Let them come up." Beat your plowshares into swords and your pruner hooks into spears. Let the weak say, I am strong. And, hey, that's what that's what's happening, man. Oh, they're basically... They, they, like, North Korea, who the fuck is North Korea, man? You're about, like, what was it, like, seven years ago? The Korean War? Like, in the 50s? Then, man, like, America and Russia, that was, that was just a, a, a spot for a proxy war. Now, they're like, you know, these guys got a nuclear program. That's hey, that's why it's like yo, that that's basically them saying we're strong because that nuclear missile that's the the height of military technology right now. Anyone got a nuke, they're basically able to fight on par with the strongest militaries in the world. Because as soon as their missiles leave, and just go oh we've detected, shut them. We've had we've had um, missiles released from the U.S. Anyone else can just be okay. Fuck it, fire the missiles. And then this is going to fly on the U.S. And, and it's going to be mutually assured destruction. And that's, that's why it's like, they're basically able to say, I'm strong. So assemble yourselves and come, all ye heathen. Gather yourselves together round about. Thither cause thy mighty ones to come down, O Lord. So the Lord's basically just about gathering all these men together. All these heathens, just having them fuck each other up. That's why none of this, all these peace talks and blah, blah, blah ain't going to work out, man. You know, you got Macron and um, and Trump, you know, Macron's meant to be on Trump's dick. Hey, man, France and uh, France is going to shoot nukes on America too, man. And Germany and the UK. All the men of that confederacy have brought the even to the border, man. That's what, that's what it's going to be. So that's all that peace talk. That's not going to come to pass whatsoever, man. It's going to be about destruction, about people getting smashed. And that's, hey, that's a beautiful thing. Um... It says, let the heathen be wakened and come to the valley of Yahweh Shapat, for there will I sit to judge all the heathen round about. So this is what it's, it's going to come to, basically that that World War Three, that find that third wall in the Middle East. That's that's really what the Lord's building towards. This is why all this peace talk is just like, the Lord ain't down with that. The Lord's basically about, he's, he's about nations going, going in and smashing each other up. That's why it's like all this peace talk, but rare tear tear. When it when it wait when that time comes, it's it's gonna come to war. That's why it's like there's only what just really is chip, martial law. When then things are gone, it's like yo the third world war kicks. So it's, we 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 out of here, son. So you know, the way the way the chips ready just ready to get dropped at any moment. That means that they ain't really gonna be um you know lollygagging about about this third world war this third world war is really ready to pop man syria israel iran you can tell russia america they're all ready to to go in there and just be like okay let's stop blowing each other up man but you know that's that's just like that all the you know main point is just all that peace talks hey man lord's not even gonna allow that to happen man but yeah i'll leave it there man uh, Shalom, O praise the Abba Shemesh, Abba Shemakal Kabash, Shalom.